Hey, what's up, Will Hamilton here. And if you're like most players, you're only using part of your body to generate power on your serve, your forehand, and your backhand, meaning you're leaving power on the table. You're not hitting as hard as you could. So if, for example, you feel like you're arming your serve, then I want to invite you to pick up a copy of Crush It, because inside, Dr. Mark Kovacs shows you 26 drills that allow you to generate power from your entire body so that you can hit your serve, your forehand, and your backhand much, much harder. So what I want to do right now is take you inside Crush It and show you one of the drills so that you can see if it's right for you. It's called the Twist Rotation Drill, and it shows you how to get power out of your back hip. It's drill number three out of the seven drills for the serve, and if I click on the three, the video pops up explaining how to do the drill. Now this guy right here is Dr. Mark Kovacs, and let me briefly introduce him before we watch the video. Dr. Kovacs is widely recognized as the world's leading expert on tennis biomechanics, how your body should be moving when you hit a forehand, a backhand, or a serve. And he's also a hell of a tennis player. In 2002, he won the NCAA Division I Men's Doubles Championship. And in 2011, after he got his PhD, he published the world's leading study on the serve. It's called an eight-stage model for evaluating the tennis serve. It's been peer-reviewed twice, and it won him the International Tennis Hall of Fame's Educational Merit Award. He was the youngest ever recipient. So the bottom line is, Dr. Mark Kovacs is the guy people go to when they want to hit harder. Players all the way from the Pro Tour down to the USTA league and club level have flown down to Atlanta, Georgia to have Mark personally walk them through his drills for generating more power. But when I saw these drills, I said, Mark, look, we got to get these things online. And that's exactly what we did with Crush It. So now let's go inside and look at drill number three. This is twist rotation. This is how you get more power out of your back hip. All right, so Mark, what drills can folks at home do um, either in their home or next time they hit the court to, to practice uh, this particular, uh, particular technique and, and actually, uh, what is it, twist rotation, get the, the proper twist rotation when they're, when they're loading for their serve? Sure, so I use a series of progressions with players at all levels, including some of the best pros in the world, to make sure that they feel comfortable and are able to effectively transition into this twist rotation movement. So one of the first progressions is we start with three balls, okay. and we just position it behind your back leg, and you would be set up like you would getting ready to surf, so uh -huh. that's your normal service position. Uh -huh. We put one ball literally halfway between the heel and the toe of your shoe. Okay. Second ball just behind the heel. And then the third ball about half a foot behind your heel. So we have three distinct positions here mm -hmm. to work on that. So I'm gonna take the racket out All of right. your hand right. and you're just gonna go back and pick up the first ball and hand it to me. Okay. So he goes down and picks up. One thing that we wanna do, and I'll put that back down so okay. we can work through this. We want to try to keep the chest upright as much okay, as we can. so don't do this. Exactly. Don't right. bend at the back. All right, so I'm like this as much exactly. as I can be. Okay. And then the second component here is to try to really emphasize twisting at the hip. Okay, so twist. Exactly. Is that twist at the hip? Perfect. Try to keep that head up as much okay. as we can. And the toughest one is the third one because we have to get back down there. Good. So as you can see, the first one's relatively straightforward. Mm -hmm it gets more challenging. Yep. If you can comfortably do that, go through that progression two or three times, okay. then we progress to then strawing, but then starting to release the energy. So the next progression, same type of position, but now we're gonna go down and when we pick up, what our objective is here is to get into a throwing motion. So okay. we're gonna go down, pick up, and then get from here into our sort of trophy position. And then when we throw, we're gonna do a tennis throw, which is a little bit different, where we get this shoulder over shoulder position. Okay, okay. So down here, and then I'm gonna throw, just to demo it slowly, like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe more than this, which is more of a baseball throw. Correct. Okay, so I want the shoulder coming over more. Because right. a really good example, a baseball throw, what'll happen is when you throw, you will over rotate early. Okay. And that's why it's a big misconception that just going out and throwing is gonna directly impact your serve. You wanna make sure that you do a tennis specific serve throw. Okay, well let me try and tell me if I'm doing it right. Like that. That's re really good start. What we wanna to try to emphasize is keeping that front shoulder 
forward as long as possible. Okay, so even more than even what more. I did. Yeah, right. over exaggerated. All right, all right, all right. Good. So it looks a little funky. It looks a little different because what we're cool. trying to do look cool doing is it. trying to do a cartwheel or shoulder over shoulder position. All right. Okay, got it. Yep. Drop down, chest up. There we go. Nice. And you popped out of it perfectly. Okay. Really, really good attempt. So that's that series of progressions. Mm -hmm. Now the next series is we're actually going to pick up the racket and I call this the elephant drill because you'll see in a second why. So what we'll do right. is you'll start with a ball right. and you'll over exaggerate here this movement like an elephant trunk. It goes back and you rotate as far as you can into that back leg and then you hit a serve. So this is not a Am real Am I trying motion. to come down real low? Exactly. Okay. Trying to come down lower than normal just to get the feeling. Over exaggerate it. Good. And the first couple of times people do this, they sometimes struggle with contact, and that's okay because this the we're toss, not. The toss, it kind of throws exactly. it off. The toss gets over exaggerated. It's not a real service motion, it's a hip involvement exercise. We're trying to really activate that back hip and work on that twist rotation. Should I try and really sit into exactly. it? Exactly. Okay. So go as low as you can, go as back as, as far as you can, and try to really over exaggerate that hip turn. And once you hit three, four, five serves like that, then go back to your normal motion. So he's working on exaggerating it. Now when we say, okay, well, let's focus on your regular, regular service motion, motion and see how that feels. Yeah, it's one of those where you like get the take, hit one or two to kind of transition exactly. out of it a little bit. So what our objective here with this serve is really to get the body to understand that our goal is to really shift into that back leg, focus on emphasizing how important it is to twist rotate, not just drop down into a squat or knee bend position, and then be able to shift out of that and transition into an optimum serving position. So that drill was pretty cool, right? Go to your tennis bag and take out a fuzzy yellow ball and try that twist rotation drill in your place, right? And what you should focus on is the sensation in your back hip, because if it feels different when you do the twist rotation drill, if your motion feels different than your current service motion, well, that means you are leaving a ton of power on the table. So the entire point of Crush It is that these drills target specific areas of your body, whether we're talking about the serve, your forehand, the one-handed backhand, or the two-handed backhand, and allow you to generate maximum power from those areas. Now to get access to these 26 drills inside Crush It, you don't have to fly down to Atlanta, Georgia. You don't even have to pay the normal price of $199 because for a limited time, you can get access to everything here on this page for just one payment of 67 bucks. And that gets you all seven of the drills for the two-handed backhand, all seven of the drills for the one-handed backhand, the five drills for the forehand, and then the seven drills for the serve. So when we were putting the finishing touches on Crush It, I was like, well, what would be the next thing somebody would need after they're suddenly hitting a lot harder? And I was like, well, they're not gonna be getting a lot of weak short balls, so the next logical thing would be to get to net and finish the point. And I was like, well, nobody does that better than Martina Navratilova. And as luck would have it, this past March 2022, we were with Martina. We spent an entire day covering how to get to the net and end the point. So I was like, you know what? I should just throw in this stuff with Martina for free. I was gonna charge 199 bucks, but when you pick up a copy of Crush It, I'm just gonna hook you up with this new stuff with Martina for free. It's called Rule the Net. So you can see that just like Crush It, there are numbers at specific spots around the court. And the reason is because each one of these numbers will take you to a play that has to do with that spot on the court. So if I click on one of them, We've got the video that comes up, and you can see Martina is right here, and she is explaining how to run that particular play. And for singles, Martina's got nine of her favorite plays for getting to the net and ending the point with easy volleys. Not those hero volleys, the tough low ones, the ones you're digging off your shoestrings. 
These are the easy ones that'll allow you to get to the net and put the ball away. Now, if you're a doubles player, no worries because we've also got the doubles version of Rule the Net. These are 11 of Martina's favorite plays for getting to the net and setting up easy put away volleys and overheads. Works the same way as Crush It. You've got the numbers at specific places on the court and then you click on one of them and it takes you to a video where Martina explains how to do that particular play. Normally, if you bought Rule the Net separately, these 20 plays from Navitrilova would cost $199. But when you pick up a copy of Crush It here on this page today, as part of this special deal, well, we're just gonna throw in Rule the Net, the singles version and the doubles version, completely free. Now, we've also got two other awesome bonuses with Martina. And the first is called Volleys That Stay Low. Because if you've ever served and volleyed, that first volley you hit around the service line, it can be tough. A lot of players pop it up, and then it becomes very easy for your opponent to pass you with the next ball. Well, inside Volleys That Stay Low, well, that's exactly what Martina shows you how to do. She shows you how to hit a volley that skids, that doesn't bounce very high, and that makes it incredibly difficult for your opponent to pass you. And in fact, what it makes your opponent do is they have to hit up, right? They have to hit the ball up to get it above the net, which means they are now setting you up with a high volley that you can put away. Normally, volleys that stay low is 49 bucks, but you get it for free as a bonus when you pick up a copy of Crush It here on this page today. Now, the third bonus is volleys that don't come back because when you start hitting volleys that stay low and you force your opponent to hit up, you now have that put away volley and there is nothing more annoying than having that put away volley and then not putting it away, allowing your opponents to get a racket on the ball and then you end up losing the point a couple shots later. Well, that all changes with volleys that don't come back because Martina is gonna show you just like a really simple technique tweak that allows you to stick that volley and actually put it away. Normally, volleys that don't come back is also 49 bucks, but you get it for free when you pick up a copy of Crush It. So here's the deal. You are getting Crush It, which is normally 199 bucks. And you're getting Rule the Net, which is also normally 199 bucks. You're getting Volleys That Stay Low, $49 value. And you're getting Volleys That Don't Come Back, also a $49 value. You add all that up, it's 497 bucks. But instead of paying that, you can get it all for just one payment of $67 here on this page today. So all you gotta do is scroll down this page, click that button to start checkout, only takes a couple minutes, and then you will get instant access to everything. Crush it, rule the net, and the volley bonuses. Oh, and you are protected by our 365 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. Which means you can take the 26 drills from Dr. Kovacs, and the 20 plays from Martina, and the volley technique from Martina, you can take it all for a whirl for the next year. At the end of that year, if you're like, Will, this just wasn't my thing, no worries we will refund you your 67 bucks. It's really as simple as that. So if hitting harder and winning more points at the net is something you were interested in, scroll down this page, click that button, order, crush it, take it all for a whirl for the next year risk-free. I think you're gonna be really happy that you did.